Hey people, Bill Stebbins from BillStebbins.com and TheSimulcast.com. I am here today with a new laptop skin for my MacBook Pro. Um, I recently picked up another MacBook Pro. This is a 13-inch model. And I kind of wanted to, st to distinguish it from another one that's in the house. And I've always been a fan of carbon fiber. So what I picked up was this laptop skin. This is from SGP. They're a really good company to work with, and they have some carbon fiber goodies. So what this is, this is basically a uh, carbon fiber look sticker. And uh, it feels just like carbon fiber, it looks just like carbon fiber. And basically you put that on the MacBook Pro, and it does everything, um, covers everything, rather. And the nice thing is, is you can't tell in the, in the video but it has a cutout for the Apple logo. So right in here there's a cutout so that when I put it on here there won't be uh, it won't be covering up the cool Apple logo so that you know when it's lit up you'll still be able to see it. So I'm going to show you how to put this on. It should be fairly straightforward if you've done any sticker installs in the past. Um, one thing I'm not real keen on is the way that they've done the corners. I understand why they've done that so that it'll fit the contours not sure how it's going to look. So let's go ahead and start peeling the edges up. And actually first, I'm supposed to wipe this thing off. Now this this MacBook Pro is only a few days old, so I really don't think it's going to have much fingerprints on it because it's pretty much just lived on my desk. All right, so we're going to go ahead and and uh, pull this thing off. We'll give it one more wipe. I'm going to pull this thing off, and you can probably kind of see now the Apple logo there. I'm going to go ahead and pop that out, because I personally want that to be shown when I have the sticker on. So, go ahead and pop that out. Now this has what they refer to as a silicone um, adhesive which will be nice if you ever want to take it off then uh, shouldn't be a big deal to do and we're going to see how well this goes on now what you should do on something like this is you're going to want to start at the Apple logo and you're going to want to work your way out and so you're going to want to lay it down you kind of want to cradle this with your fingers so that nothing's touching except for around the Apple logo. And the good thing with this is you can reposition it to get a good fit. And it may take you a few tries. There's no no harm in uh, pulling it back up and trying again as it were. Alright, so that looks good there. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to work the bubbles out as you put it down. So you're going to want to kind of feed it down so that you're not getting air bubbles. Okay, you're going to lay that out. And now we're going to work out, I'm going to pull this up a little bit, we're going to kind of work these out. Okay, and that way you're not getting air bubbles because you will be able to see them if you get air bubbles trapped in there from an angle and that'll look kind of silly. Alright, so there we go. As you can see, that Apple logo looks good. Go ahead and tuck this in the corners. Yeah, I don't care for that in the corners, but because of the way that the MacBook Pro is contoured, I'm not sure what else you could do in those corners. All right, and then let's see. Pretty sure I got all the air bubbles out on this side. I see one. You can't really see in the video, but there are a couple of air bubbles, and you're going to want to work those out as you go, because otherwise you're going to you're going to see them. And if you're like me and you're you're um, particular about your stuff, looking at something like an air bubble on the lid of your MacBook Pro is going to drive you insane. So just go ahead and 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 really just take care of it right away. Before you get it all pressed down 
and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to kind of give it a, a good look don't be afraid to pull it up a couple of times and just kind of work it with your hands alright and I see one right here by the Apple logo so I'm gonna and this is really how you should do the install if you're gonna do it just keep working through it eventually you'll get it to where you're happy you don't really want to go poking anything through any of this I think that would not look so good All right. There I go. A little bit here in the corner. Alright. So I'm, I'm digging the look of it. Um, I gotta admit, I'm not real crazy about the corners. I'll figure out some good solution for that. Alright, so there you go. Now, you wanna see how it looks with it on. So it's still glowing and everything. I'm kind of digging it. And there it is with it closed. There's the corner. Not my favorite thing. As I said, and you can see I got a little air bubble right there. I'll get that fixed. But overall, I think everything else is golden. Alright, so that's been the SGP Carbon. Um, I guess they call it a laptop skin. I'm liking it. Uh, you can pick that up from SGP, just do a search for them. And if there's anything else you want to know about it, leave me some messages in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.